So you've stumbled upon some jaw-dropping CNC woodworks lately and thought that would be great for an entrepreneur or for crafting next-level gifts for family and friends. First of all, good job finding the best video to guide you to the top-notch CNC machines. CNC machines are getting more and more accessible every year, making them a great option to be looking at. They don't require much maintenance and once you get the hang of it, they are simple to use. With a CNC machine, you can do cuttings, engravings, carving, milling, drilling and grooving. You'll be amazed by how many materials you can cut such as wood, foam, stone, plastics, acrylic, glass, copper, aluminum, PVC, MDF and more. Even if you aren't feeling creative and are not sure how to start your journey, you can always check out the amazing free online prototypes from websites such as 3axis.co, FileCNC, DXF for CNC, and many more. And slowly, as you dive into the software, you will become a warrior who can cut and engrave anything your heart desires. Here are some software that you will need with pros and cons of each. Each has its purpose, but to avoid confusion, Carbide Create is your best bet. The process of engraving and cutting with a CNC machine may initially seem quite confusing, but what really gets people lost is the process of buying the machines. When looking around, you will encounter an ocean of complicated terms. You will see jargon like different wattage numbers, spindles, chip loads, feed rates, stepper motors, torque, and other stuff too. But my friend, in the next two minutes, you're going to go from a level 1 rookie CNC daydreamer to a level 20 expert woodsmith maybe even a metalsmith. So before we get to the top 5 CNC machines, let's quickly remove all of this gibberish and translate it into English. This is a CNC machine. It has four very important components. The spindle, stepper motors, machine base, and drill bits. The spindle slash router operates like a drill with varying speeds, measured in RPM, and power measured in watts. More power is always better, but RPM needs versatility to tackle different materials. Spindles tend to have more torque at slower RPMs, and less power at higher RPMs. Slower RPMs are great for harder materials and vice versa. In general, more power provides a faster job completion. But hold on, overall speed isn't only determined by the spindle. Don't forget about our trusty sidekick, the stepper motor. These motors work in a similar way to spindles, but they spin both clockwise and anti-clockwise. Different motors provide different RPMs and powers. When the motor spins, it moves your spindle along the rails. So, when working with harder materials, the motor has to exert more efforts to push the spindle through. Stepper motors are typically named after their size, known as NEMA motors. NEMA 17 motors are commonly used in beginner machines, with higher NEMA numbers indicating stronger motors. The third essential component is the machine base or skeleton. Even if you have the perfect spindle and stepper motors, without rigidity, you are going to face a lot of vibrations and a decrease in accuracy. So it's best to avoid flimsy plastic machines and opt for sturdy metals. Advanced technologies exist that offer enhanced stability in some machines. Now that we have the main pieces of the puzzle, we can talk about the bits, the spindle drill bits, which come in many sizes and shapes. But what you need to know is 1. Bit diameters affect the cutting demands and speed on the spindle and stepper motors. Larger diameters increase speed but also demand more power. 2. Bits come with different teeth counts, and more teeth require slower spindle RPMs or more stepper motor speed. 3. Bits can vary in lengths. The longer the bit, the more vibrations, so the less RPM and speed you will work at. And finally, let's talk about chip load, the measurement of material a drill bit takes off with each turn it makes. Manufacturers have established ideal chip loads for beginners to follow. Here's why. If you take too much material in one turn, too much chip load, the poor drill bit won't be able to handle the pressure and might even break. On the other hand, if you take too little material in one turn, the drill bit won't release enough energy into the chips being thrown away. As a result, it will heat up and become more and more dull with a lower life expectancy. Keep in mind, if you cut deeper with a drill bit, you're also putting more pressure on the system and therefore your chip load will decrease. I will leave some links to help you understand these things later. I already feeling like an expert? Don't stop there, make sure to subscribe and become a legend in the CNC world. And finally, let's talk about the 5 best CNC machines you can find, handpicked with a lot of research, links can be found in the description below. 
Oh, and by the way, I have an extra special comparison chart later just for you. Don't miss it. And starting with number 5, the Rat Motor 3018 Pro Max CNC Wood Router Machine. Coming at around $150 to $170 or £140. This machine is an excellent entry point for beginner engraving and milling. It has a working area of 30 by 18 by 4.5 centimeters or the following in inches. With a 775 spindle motor, which has a power of 100 watts and RPM of 10,000, you're already going to be able to engrave a lot of material. You might even get away with very slow engravings on copper and it has NEMA 17 motors which for this price range is pretty good. But it will limit how fast you can engrave your projects. The body is made out of PA6 nylon and aluminum, giving the machine an acceptable level of stability. The clamps used on the Rattan motor are ER11 collets which accept a wide range of bits all the way from a tiny 0.1mm to 3.175. ER collets are considered the best collet systems out there. With with better grip than other collet types. General accuracy is 0.2 millimeters, which is considered very good at this price. So as long as you're making medium-sized prototypes, accuracy won't be an issue. But if you make miniature projects, you might start seeing problems. Some cool perks that the Rattan motor has are an emergency stop button you can press if something goes wrong, XYZ limit functions working as limit switches on the machine to make sure it doesn't break if a malfunction happens, and the ability to switch a speedy 20k RPM spindle. You can choose to get an offline controller to help in using the machine with SD and TF cards without needing internet or a direct connection, and the machine supports 3 axis file engravings. As for customer service, Rat and Motor have a quick manual and guides to help you get started with your machine as fast as possible and have a reasonable helpline. If you aren't planning on breaking your piggy bank, then the Rattan Motor is the best budget CNC machine under $300. But if you can expand your budget a bit, these next options are going to provide you with a much better experience and cutting speeds. Next up in option number 4, you get the best power for price machine. Not only is the spindle on this much stronger than the last option, but it also supports adding even stronger routers onto the machine too. The 3018 Pro Max Anoy Tool CNC Router Machine, coming with a whopping 500 watt spindle with 12,000 RPM and a torque of 0.5 newtons per meter. Combine that with a strong thick aluminum body and boy oh boy will you get quality. You're going to see much more stable engravings and cuttings even on harder materials. The only button neck on this machine is its NEMA 17 motors, which don't have enough torque to engrave aluminum and harder metals properly. But in general, you only start seeing stronger stepper motors with machines above $650, so this is still well within the expected quality range. The work area is 30 by 18 by 6 cm or the following in inches. This provides extra height compared to the last option, allowing the use of quarter inch bits. If you have bigger projects in mind, you can use an expansion kit to get more work surface. Technically, if you wanted even more RPM and power, you can install a 65mm router like the Nikita or DeWalt routers, but the stepper motors might not be enough to handle the vibrations. That being said, you can upgrade the stepper motors to servo motors, which provide more stability and power. Basically, this machine is very customizable. As the previous option, it also uses premium quality E11 collets and has quite a long assembly time of 45 minutes. But that's kind of a good thing. After assembling it, you're going to know exactly how the machine works in case you want to make any of the upgrades mentioned earlier. Customer support claim to be experts and can help you with any questions you have 24-7. Next up in option number 3 is my favorite option, similar to the last one but the frame is taking sturdiness to a whole different level. The MySweet E3020 Plus CNC Wood Router. This machine is a great 500 watt machine, offering a build space of 30 by 20 by 7.3 centimeters. Max spindle RPM is 11,000. With 12 mm thick solid dual steel guide rails, the difference between these rails and most other builds is that they greatly prevent wobble and vibration, therefore increasing accuracy of the machine and on your finished parts. The stepper motors have stronger currents of 1.5 amps for the X and Y and 1.8 for the Z axis, compared to 1.3 amps on the previous options. This should provide more torque too, to help handle bigger chip loads and stronger materials. It even has 6 limit switches for an all round protection. If you're thinking about getting an extra strong spindle or router, I would suggest you get it either with this option or with the options coming up next.
next. My Sweet E3020 is compatible with GRBL 1.1 and have recommendations of how fast and deep you can cut wood and aluminum. Although this machine is more suitable for aluminum than the others, you should use lubrication like oil during engraving to prevent overheating of the drill bit. Some cool features on this option are the Z probe to get the spindle in the right spot, an emergency stop button in case something goes wrong, and a cool scale grid platform which looks very fancy and smart and fastens your projects to the bed nice and quickly. With a nice instruction video, you can assemble it in around 30 minutes. Getting to the higher end options, number two comes from a very very reliable company, Fox Alien, known for quality CNC machines and laser engravers too, the Masuter 4040 Pro. This option has a bigger build size of 40 by 40 by 6 cm and high quality rail systems. It's not easy to justify the reason for jumping to the Fox Alien compared to the previous one, especially since the stepper motors are still NEMA 17 motors. But just so you know, most users go for this option because it's built like a tank, especially the Z-axis which uses a linear rail drive system, as well as the ability to easily add a 1.5 kW spindle, which is going to provide you with a lot more speed and power. You will definitely want to upgrade the spindle here because the machine comes with quite a weak one with 60 watts at 10,000 RPM. That upgrade is going to be a direct installation of a Mikita router or DeWalt router attached by buying a spindle block. With the new router, you will be able to engrave aluminum and other metals at a much more consistent rate and speed, speeds that are actually feasible for these light metals. Personally, I root for option 3, but there's no doubt that the Masuter has a much bigger community and fan base. And finally, option number 1. A beast of a machine. A machine that is getting you to the top tier beginner level desk CNC machines. The Genmitsu CNC Router Prover XL4030. With such a name, you know this machine means business. Genmitsu, the leading brand in beginner CNC machines, have truly outdone themselves with this option. And the number one reason you go for this one is machine stability. The last option was built like a tank, but this option is built to destroy tanks. This bad boy isn't moving an inch even during the most demanding projects. Another amazing feature on the Prover XL is the jump from NEMA 17 to NEMA 23 motors, which which are significantly stronger and more stable. With this stability, you can increase your feed rates to new heights, and I didn't even mention the Z-axis height yet. The machine is 40 by 30 by 11 centimeters. With the extra height, it's possible to use a lot more drill bit types to accommodate its strength. The only thing that makes me sad is, if you're going to boast high quality in all core aspects, then you might as well do so for the spindle too. Sadly, the spindle has a mere 300 watts in power. It's almost like giving a beast a hammer instead of an axe to go to war. It's not the end of the world, but you will have to invest a little more on a higher quality spindle and router. After all, who doesn't like bigger toys? As expected from a top tier machine, you have the flexibility to expand to a spacious 60 by 60 centimeter worker. Area. It's equipped with a Z probe, limit switches, and an emergency stop button. Because safety is always a priority, you can control spindle speed manually, which will make your life a lot easier. Overall accuracy is at 0.1 millimeters, and the machine is easier to assemble than most other products. So, my friends, the Genmitsu is one of the highest quality entry CNC machines out there. It's more expensive, but it's going to live very long even if you make mistakes. I bet you're still not sure which machine is most suitable for you. So here is the comparison chart. I would suggest you look at the quality for price for each of the options. The higher quality you go with, the easier it will be to cut soft metals and increase your speeds and accuracy of your engravings and cuttings. Personally, I would focus on sturdiness first, stepper motor power second, and then on the ability to upgrade the spindle. A weak spindle can do a lot on a strong machine, but a strong spindle cannot do much on a weak one. And anyways, most machines allow for spindle upgrades. Once again, links can be found in the description below. If you buy from the links, you will help me out at no extra cost for you. I hope this video has helped you in your CNC journey. And here are some final tips. It takes some time to figure out what feed rate and RPM you want to run your machine at. It takes some trial and error. But here are the general recommendations for chip load on different materials. If you're interested in learning more about stepper motors and the systems they work on, type the following on YouTube. And here are some other things that you can search for. And once you get started, it's good to know a little bit more about these terms. And finally, CNC machines are quite similar to laser engravers. In fact, many of these machines are compatible with laser engravers. 
but the main differences are laser engravers cut finer and provide a burnt-like look on your projects and are better at engraving, while CNC machines are better for clean cuts and 3D engravings. If you're interested in laser engravers, you can check these videos here. Make sure to subscribe. If you have any questions, mention them in the comments below and have a great day.